Welcome, I'm Kim Turcott. Uh, I want to thank you for visiting my channel. And um, as always, if you find this video helpful and you enjoy it, please leave a comment and be sure to subscribe. And if you want notification each time I release a new video, please just click the little bell and that will notify you whenever uh, a new video is uploaded to the channel. So today we are going to talk about spells versus prayers. And so first off, I just want to say that um, I was raised Catholic, and so that's my background. Um, I started walking my goddess path when I was about 20 years ago, when I turned 30. Um, I had left a nine-year marriage, and I really was looking for something, like I felt like something was missing in my life, and I started reading all different kinds of books on spirituality, and I found one on the goddess on goddess worship and I just I knew from that instant that I was home but I did carry with me um, my upbringing which is in Catholicism and so um, over the years I've learned to kind of blend the two together so I'm very eclectic in my practice however um, I do tend to work with spells more than I work with prayers, and here is why. The difference that I see in the word in praying versus casting spells. So first, I will say is that I really want to. I wanted to do this video because I wanted to dispel <laughs> some of the feelings and reactions to the word spell. Um, quite often anything that has to do with magic or can be um, associated with witchcraft or paganism can bring up a certain level of fear in you if all you've known your entire life is, um, you know, if you've been brought up in a Christian background, um, you can have a lot of fear around these words. You might be curious about them and somewhere deep inside you know that it's not anything bad, like there's an inner knowing. However, um, it's a trigger word for you. So one of the things I really want to do with this is really dispel any of that trigger feeling um, for anyone who's watching this and really let you know that spells and prayers are kind of two sides of the same coin, okay? so. There's, only, there's, there's one basic difference uh, between a spell and a prayer. And so basically what a prayer is, a prayer is dialogue with the divine. Whether you want to call the divine God, goddess, the universe, essence, whatever, creator, whatever you want to call that, it really doesn't matter, okay? I believe that there is a divine energy, a divine essence, God, goddess, you know, universe is what I usually call it because I feel like that's a kind of a neutral term. Um, so there's this divine essence, right? And that divine essence supports everything that we do in this lifetime, all right? And so when we pray, we're in direct dialogue with this divine essence. And so there are two different kinds of prayers. There's prayers of gratitude and communion where you're actually giving thanks and tapping into the wisdom and the energy of this divine source. Um, and there are uh, petition prayers. So basically what that is, is when you are in need of something in your life, whether it be answers or help in a relationship, finding a job, whatever it may be, finding an apartment, the right house, trying to have a child, um, you might look to the divine, pray to the divine to help you, okay? And so what that is, the difference between that type of prayer and a spell is that that's very passive on your part, okay? You're basically, you know, sitting in your room asking the divine for something, but you're not really um, putting any of your energy into finding a solution or manifesting an outcome. With a spell, you are directly working with the divine. Not only are you having a conversation with the divine and are you petitioning the divine for help, but you are also melding your energy 
and your actions on the physical realm, right, to support a positive outcome. So the, diff the basic difference between prayers and spells is prayers, petition prayers, right, are where you're asking for help are very passive. You're asking and then you're sitting and waiting to receive. With a spell, you're asking, you're doing something on the physical plane to represent manifestation. You're focusing your intent and you're taking action in that moment to manifest and bring about change in your life. So you, you see that it's a subtle difference, but it's really powerful because when you are willing to focus your intention, you're willing to make an effort and lend your energies to a solution and an outcome, the universe can more easily provide you with the support that you need because you are really focused, you're clear on what you need, you're clear on what you want, and you're willing to actually take action to move forward and receive that. So um, one of the easiest types of spells that you can do is um, a candle spell. I work with candles all the time. It's probably, I work with gemstones too, but I think um, candles are probably the easiest um, solution or easiest tool for people to use when they are working with spells. So there are a bunch of different kinds of candles. You don't have to spend a lot of money. I mean, in fact, the types of candles that I work with most are these um, seven day candles. And I actually got this one at the dollar store. So for Buck, I got this candle and um, this one is um, from my winter solstice celebration where um, it is focused to help me to feel more comfortable to shine my light in the world and so I light this each time that I am doing work either in front of the camera or I'm teaching a course or I'm working with a client this is lit so that um, it can help me to really tap into that energy of the divine to help me be the best um, the best that I can be in supporting those who I work with or those who follow me um, in a way that really supports their best and highest good in their growth. So again, one dollar at the dollar store, right? And I focused intention, I um, consecrated the candle and I blessed it and I filled it with divine energy and I asked the divine, there's a little prayer in the back um, that, or spell if you will, um, that I recited and it's as simple as that. And so for $1 um, and a little bit of uh, focused energy, probably, you know, I did a ritual with this to bless the candle. I have several that I blessed so that I could use them throughout the year. Um, but that focused energy and the intention that I poured into this candle, each time I light it now, the divine, it's like a beacon for the divine to, um, to hear my call and to help me on my journey so that I can then help you on your journey. So, I mean, it's super simple to light a candle and spells do not have to be complicated. So really, what a spell is, it's a, it is a physical representation of something on the earth plane. So it could be um, a, you know, a gemstone. So say I wanted to um, bring about, I wanted to uh, charge this so that when I carried it, um, I was open to all opportunities in my business, right? So... I'm just saying that that's not necessarily what this particular crystal uh, is associated with, but you get my point, right? There's something on the physical plane that we can focus our intent, hold on to, and we can carry it with us. We can burn it. Um, it's, it's a physical manifestation of energy so that we are actually working with the divine. Okay, and what often happens is when you invest that type of energy, um, 
and you work with the divine, you're more open to seeing or recognizing when the universe is providing you with an opportunity or a solution. Because energetically, um, you your energy is tied to the solution. Does that make sense? Because you have focused your intention enough and you've actually communed and worked with the divine to manifest the solution, the a new outcome, a change, whatever it may be. So that really is the difference between a prayer and a spell. A prayer is more passive where you're asking for something and you're not really doing anything, you're just sitting there waiting for it. Um, and so that's not as effective as a spell. A spell, you are providing your own, lending your own energy. You're showing that you're willing to work and focus your intent and be really clear about what it is you want and need and that you are actively an active participant in your life, right? So when I, when I pray, I use prayer in a form that is for a thanksgiving and communion with the divine and I use spells when it would be more of a petitioning prayer you know so I won't do a petitioning prayer I will do a spell instead but I will I do pray um, to the divine and but that really is around um, gratitude, giving thanks for the things that I have received in my life, for all the blessings that are part of my life, and to really um, tap into the wisdom of the divine. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope this cleared up some um, triggers you might have had around the word spell. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Um, I know it can... Um, like I said, the word spell can trigger some people, but really, if you start to look at it as more of an active prayer versus the word spell, I think that um, you'll see how, you know, that really energetically shifts how you feel about it. And you can become, the, the, the empowering thing about that is you become kind of a, a, an active participant in the dance of manifestation and the dance of abundance in your life. So really, the sky is the limit. You can, you, when you work with the divine and you, you're willing to focus your energy and you're willing to, to do your part in the manifestation and um, in bringing about change in your life, like, you really have the power to create anything that you desire. And so, again, I look forward to hearing your comments. I hope you found this helpful. It's been my pleasure. I look forward to um, seeing you in the next video. Blessed be.